Hey, it's me, Fury, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Hey, um, I think I have done all of the personal quests. I can, can I see? I have done everything. Why is this kind of new? Um, it's been forever since I did like Jacob's personal quest of Zayis. Anyway, I think I'm doing Overlord today. And then next time I'm gonna do Lyra's thing, probably. And then this arrival thing. And then I'm just gonna save the universe. Well, the galaxy. Let's not get illusions of grandeur here. Where on earth am I? Oh yeah, I'm here because, because of Kasumi. We got that great box. Oh, that was such a good time. I'm just thinking, is there something I should be doing? No, I'm just gonna go here. Let's do this. I don't know. One half capacity. I might wanna check actually from the internet how many kind of random quests are there that you can find if you just scan every place uh it would be really nice to see all of those quests so i might check a list and do one episode on doing those i don't know how many there are i probably should write that down just so that i remember otherwise i'm gonna forget it anyway let's just get down to the business so she's loyal to me. Everybody's loyal to me. Um, who do I want to take on this one? Decisions, decisions. Maybe him. And uh, maybe him. Haven't had thing with me. Except for his own mission. Neural shock. Cripple an organic enemy with pain. That sounds great. And shredder ammo increases damage to health of organic. Um, I'm gonna take that one. Okay. Overlord. Ooh. like a lovely planet. Be advised, this is a secure facility. All weapons must be declared upon entry and checked with security personnel on duty. That's not very good. Uh, 
find myself in a computer room on the far side of the base. There are Geth on the loose. Yeah. A rogue VI okay. program has seized control, and I've lost a lot of friends today. I'd hate to see you join them. Please watch yourself. I should have taken people with technical skills. This is a secure facility. All weapons must be declared upon entry and checked with security oh well. personnel on duty. You don't always have to min max everything, you can just have fun. Take people you want to take and not think like who is the most useful person. Why do we always have to be like so useful? Can I open this? door is secure from the inside. My setup is somehow weird. I don't have room for my mouse. I don't even know why I'm shooting those cameras. Like, what do I expect to happen? Memo to all project personnel. I understand there's some concern about handling live Geth. I agree it's a risk, but the potential reward is far greater. Someday your sons and daughters will thank you. Oh, really? Will they now? That's what the Quarians say. There we go. Mission completed. We can go home now. Whoa. Or not. The VI's overridden the controls. We have to stop him. He's trying to upload his program off planet. Him? Destroy the antenna inside the dish. There's a tram on the lower level. Get to it as fast as you can. You calling a VI him? I smell something fishy. I. Okay, this is a bit spooky. Stop staring at me. You're making me really nervous. Hey. Stop staring at me. You should get used to it by now. His coffee is gonna be like forever with me, I guess. Also, I probably should take my meds for it. That could help. Alright, I'm gonna take it right now. Alright. Sounds yummy. I don't know if I should be shooting those cameras. Am I going backwards? No. Get ready. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. Thought I was harmless, did you? Oh, but he is a technician. No way. Yes, no. No, he isn't. Okay. He's not going to any sea. Oh. That's not what I wanted to do. I clicked his and I did this one. Somehow. How did that happen? Could you please explain to me? Like, I literally clicked this one. And suddenly I was there myself. I did this. I, my fingers were nowhere near the num number buttons or my own skills. 
So I'm a little kind of like, what on earth just happened? Go in peace. Wow, well done. <laughs> All right, we're safe. Whew. That was a mysterious thing to happen. I hope it's not like doing it a lot. Somewhere very important fight. Suddenly I'm just flying across the place. For reasons. Memo to all project personnel. Congratulations on your hard work. Tomorrow we make the next leap forward. It'll be a great day for Cerberus and an even greater day for humanity. Cerberus. Oh, they're not doing anything horrible. They're just doing nice things. I should have taken Miranda here. Miranda and Jack. That would have been sweet. It's not all bad. The terrain seems quite rough. I wonder how much it has cost them to build this place. What, 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 what? Oh, I just robbed the cafe. This kind of a little reminds me of some other game. Not sure which one though. It's kind of like Deja Vu. I've seen this somewhere. Maybe in my dreams. million miles away I moved a little bit and suddenly it's just like at the end of the room somewhere 10 million miles away from my face I'm, I'm going backwards am I yep I'm going backwards this is where I came from well done it's so one time uh, me and my friend in the tourists, we took a cruise, like ship cruise, and <laughs> um, I look at map and I'm like, okay, we have to walk, um, when we come out from the ship, we have to go left, and that's how we get to the city. So I just, the ship is there, I just start walking left without even looking around, and my friend is like, hey, Come on, stop. The city is on the right. We have to go to the right. Um, otherwise, you're just gonna fall into the sea. Uh, I'm that good with directions. That's where I'm supposed to be going. I went around from like that's why that was so confusing. I thought I came back here. All right, stop staring at me. Oh yeah, good thing I didn't fall in the sea. If I was some poor my friend, I would have been swimming in the sea because I probably. Nice music. Um, probably wouldn't have realized my mistake. That looks uncomfortable. E. Oh, this is the tram. Oh, now this reminds me so much of the Mass Effect one. When we're um, in the hall lab place. He's aligning the dish to a new upload target. He'll have a clear line of sight to our satellite. This is going to be tight. Arriving at dish access. 
you've been doing very bad things. Very bad things. A oh, very very bad window is opening soon. All upload data must be approved by your department supervisor. Power cells. All right. Oh, I'm full ammo. I just get hundred credits from power cells now. Hey. Stop being silly. Tally would have been real nice because she could hack these. Neutralized. Neutralized. I love Mordin. I didn't know Mordin was so cool. When I first played this game, I never used Mordin. Ever. He he was like, okay, that weird sign is there. He's kind of funny. He's kind of a little bit hyper. I really missed a lot of the game because I never had him around I never really paid that much attention and he's really a cool character like super cool this is project overlord with an emergency message to Cerberus command we've experienced a catastrophic security failure and are requesting assistance we what do you mean our outgoing comms are jammed how can it do that <laughs> Uh, la. La, 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 la. They're all really cool characters and I just wish I could have them all with me all the time and listen to them to talk and be cruel at each other and just being all crazy. Attention. Satellite broadcast window is opening soon. All A lot of games. Must be approved by your department supervisor. These days, they're just counting on big explosions, big guns, and super crazy graphics. Like, ultra-realistic graphics, and that's, that's what they have. And a lot of the games, the stories, or the characters are not necessarily, you know, that amazing. Could I jump in there with charge? Could I get myself in trouble with charge? Could I put myself into places I really shouldn't be? That's a question. I'm not saying all games are like that. There are a lot of games, a lot of games, that have a really great character design, really great, great stories. It's definitely more of a trend. Like the Bethesda guy something he said that people don't want stories people want big guns and big booms they, they just want you know shoot things <laughs> and you know on some part of that probably is true why they're green but obviously they're green because uh the bi is controlling them oh, oh so lucky oh, so lucky that was unbelievable wow i was so certain i would die because um that flamethrower unlocked me and I couldn't move, I just... Oh, get kind of stuttering around. And if I didn't dodge like at that very, very moment... Ooh. Why can't I use my skills? What is wrong with me? Target protected by shields. Okay. 
Not anymore. Hey. Get Grimes are super scary, by the way. Just die. I I just dog drive like at the last moment to save myself. That that's not skill. That's pure luck. I'm one of those people who get really nervous about things when it's first person shooters. I, when I play Mass Effect 1, I told you the story where I was just sitting in a corner and saying I'm not going anywhere and just gonna sit here forever because I know that there's those jumping death enemies, which by the way are gone. They're not in the second or third game, if I remember correctly. At least I haven't seen them at all in this one because I was so scared of them and <laughs> I was like I'm not going anywhere further this is it I'm I'm just gonna sit here in this corner and cry and um, when I play day of defeat sometimes I manage to sneak up behind a sniper guy and they they didn't use earphone earphones like they didn't hear steps. They were using speakers or something, I don't know. Or they didn't, you know, really listen to the game. Maybe they listened to music. And so they didn't know that I was just behind them. I was right behind them. And I was like, I got so nervous because I wanted to use a shovel to kill them. And so I just, I'm, I'm switching my weapons like, switching my weapons and I get my shovel out I'm like I'm shaking oh, oh my god I finally get a kill by shovel and then I miss I'm like oh my geez they're just standing or sitting right there and I miss and then I try to hit them again and I miss them again and again and again and by that time <laughs> Oh! Just the thing to help. Bye then. They figure out I'm there. And they kill me. <laughs> so that's that's just like my skill level. There's a lot of stuff happening right here. Warning. Structural integrity. Oh boy. <laughs> Sorry. I think it's a little bit unfair that I can't even try to use any skills on them. Like, I can't even try to weaken them at least a little bit with skills when they have a shield on. I don't know, at least give me a chance to use it even if it did nothing. I feel so useless and weak when I can't do anything. Okay, 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 I have to... <laughs> Sorry, popping break and popping break. I have to say though, I have grown a little bit as a first person shooter get player since those days when I was crying in a corner. <laughs> Been playing a lot more after that. All right, we did it and I'm gonna die. You gotta be kidding. Yep. going on around here man's reach exceeding his grasp come on 
I'll explain. Okay. All right. Transmission dish destroyed. Surviving inside is located. You have my thanks, Commander Shepard. You bought us some time, though probably not much. This isn't over yet. You owe us that explanation. This is Project Overlord, an attempt to gain influence over the Geth by interfacing a human mind with a VI. The results have been less than satisfactory. Really? Really? No. I'd hate to see what you call a disaster. Yep. You can't dismiss the entire project. We did succeed, at least partially. My brother, David, volunteered to serve as a test subject, but his mind couldn't handle the VI connection. Dude. He's like a virus now, infecting our networks and seizing what control the? of any technology he finds. It's why you had to destroy the dish. Imagine if his program got off-world. How does he take control of electronics? This is a hybrid intelligence the likes of which I've never seen. I don't know where the man ends and the machine begins. You should have considered that before you started the experiment. We couldn't be expected to account for every outcome. Certainly not the abomination David has become. David... The VI has fortified itself in the main laboratory at Atlas Station. It's in lockdown now. To enter, you need to manually override security from our facilities in the Prometheus and Vulcan stations. This sounds familiar. And what happens if I have to kill your brother? Let's just hope it doesn't come to that. I'm not, like, my character Shepard is not shocked enough at this. They combined his brother with Geth. They combined Geth and a human being. They combined Geth and a human being. I'm not wondering one second why all of this is happening. Like, what on earth made you think that's a great idea? Tell me more about Project Overlord. We wanted to turn the Geth's religious impulse into a weapon. What? When we saw them following Saren, we realized they could be swayed. And if a proper figurehead was created, a virus with a face, if you will, the Geth might be controlled. Oh, jeez. I wouldn't say a bold plan, I would say a stupid plan. That's an ambitious undertaking. It would be the perfect weapon. Victory without casualties. We could avoid war with the Geth altogether. That was the plan, anyway. Yep. What went wrong with the experiment? That David they started? to interface with the VI to give it genuine consciousness. Theoretically, it should have been safe, but... With artificial intelligence, there's no such thing as safe. Then you shouldn't have attempted it. There you go. And what if you've never attempted to find the Reapers, Commander Shepard? Where would the galaxy uh, be then? Really much Sometimes different Sometimes you have thing. to ignore the risks. What happens on this station? This is Hermes Station, our communications uplink with the wider galaxy. If you hadn't destroyed the dish in time, the outcome would have been catastrophic. Tell me about Vulcan and Prometheus stations. Vulcan Station is our geothermal plant. It generates power for the four outposts. Prometheus Station is a crashed Geth ship full of dormant machines. We use them for our experiments. What can you tell me about Atlas Station? Atlas Station is the main laboratory where all of our VI experiments take place. It's your final goal once you've overridden the lockdown. It's also where my brother became something else. Ah, I guess that's it. Let's go clean this stupid mess you stupid people had to create. I'm heading out now. The other stations are all within driving distance. Best of luck, Commander. I kind of wish there was a, like, real shepherd in the real world that would be just cleaning up the messes in the real world. 
we would so much need that right now. I don't know what they could do to the, this catastrophic state. You know, I don't think blowing up things is gonna bring people electricity or water. Or food. It might bring peace though, eventually. <laughs> Alright. Where on earth am I going supposed to be going? Leave area? That's remind me, how do I get to these stations? <clears throat> do I really need to use the hammerhead? talk to him oh, can you hear that you can hear that right they're making weird noises outside hold on oh I don't know they're not probably making it outside they're actually just you know hitting the pipes inside the house that's where it comes from locate the other station so yeah I spoke to him this has saved after I spoke to him Let's see if I can do this. All right. I was already worried that it would be crashing all the time. stations and override the lockdown from each facility. It doesn't matter which one you hit first, but you can't enter Atlas Station until you've dealt with both. Also, oh, keep you can an eye still out for Cerberus security so sorry. mechs. The VI Please. has likely taken control of them. Archer out. Please stop hitting the pipes. It's very annoying. Oh, jeez. Take a look at this. This is unbelievable. What? Oh my gosh! This is crazy! Geographic conditions indicate an aesthetically pleasing view nearby. Organic no, life may wish to take note. Oh yeah, you're so right! There is something flying in there. This is kind of like from my drawing, except that one was right there. Oh, jeez. I think there is one of the places I'm supposed to be going. This is incredible. There's some animals here. Forget about the stations. What on earth are dogs? I kind of like fox. Look, very much not like Oh, okay. Okay, um, I guess it's time to go to the station. Beep. This is just super nice. Look at that. Hello. An emergency server as data packet has been recovered. It contains information on Project Overlord that other research cells need to review. Be alert for more packets in the area. Five more remain. Okay.
this was easy to find. Um, I gotta take Miranda and check. Like I said before, I think they might want to see this. And um, besides, I haven't had Miranda around for like longest time. <laughs> oh, oh no, oh. Oh, this is Archer. I advise extreme caution. Vulcan station is our geothermal plant. They stop reporting in shortly after the experiment. Scanning area. <clears throat> Analysis. The eye infection is present within plant machinery. Advise caution. I thought I was going on oh, food like this was that looks really nice. Uh like this would be a regular inside pop of thing. Kinda of reminds me of the game Nintendo game Master Blaster. There you drive with a car around and you fight with the car. Like you shoot like this and you jump around. And then you have these places where you go on food. Me? Okay, so they don't hurt me, they just... Ah, oh, they stop me from moving forward, okay. Scanning area. Analysis. Bending stations provide adequate velocity to enhance vehicle lift. All right. Wow, they take a lot of, you know, hits to destroy, to be destroyed. Scanning area, analysis, debris field provides adequate support for vehicle. You gotta be kidding me. You serious? <clears throat> Let's check this one out first. That looks a little bit crazy. Oh, bummer, I actually have to go there. I actually have to do platforming with this machine. With my skills. Wish me luck! Can I save? I can't save. This is so gonna hurt. I'm gonna wait the next ones. There is a lot of space, kind of. There we go. Whoa! They are not staying! Float! They disappear for a moment. Woo! This is like riding huge stakes. Kind of like overdone stakes. I can't believe I just did that. I survived. <laughs> Yay for a steak ride! Ah, yeah. I'm I'm here. I'm alive. To clear the, wall ahead. the what now you said? <laughs> Which wall am I supposed to go through? What did he say? I kind of missed that. Ah, uh, I was supposed to... Something wall. What? Where? I thought I'd go in here. The? I'm going in here. What did he say? You trust the velocity above walls. Get out of B? 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 Just get out of the hammerhead and walk. Be high, go be, be. I no, it's not, it's not functioning. 
Marks. It's not functioning. I'll destroy you. Me's five mile. Eh. Okay. Where he go? <laughs> Pressure levels in valve. Engineers log. We've registered a huge spike in energy consumption. My technicians traced it to the experiment underway at Atlas Station. We're trying to raise them now. Warning. Pressure levels in valve A3 have exceeded maximum threshold. Manual control is required. This, I probably will have gotten set uh, two different episodes. I'm not even close to finishing this one and it will be like three hours. Okay. If I don't cut it. Can I just jump down? No. I think I'm gonna end this episode here. And I'm gonna continue this madness next episode. Uh, I have no idea how long this whole thing is, but I guess we'll find out. So come back next time to see what sort of craziness there is. Because, you know, steak rice in lava. I don't know what you gotta figure, you know, what, what you're gonna come up with to kind of top that. So anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye.